so this is a new novel that i'm planning to read this is year 2021 and uh, it is almost end of march the name of the novel is the first and last freedom it's by jay krishnamurthy one of the greatest thinkers of his age uh, he's an amazing guy i've already seen a lot of his videos or uske baad maine decide kiya that maybe i should give a uh, give a go to his novels to understand what his theories were about life and all so let's start with introduction to communicate with one another even if we know each other very well is extremely difficult i may use words that may have to you a significance different from mine understanding comes when we you and i meet on the same level at the same time that happens only when there's a real affection between people between husband and wife between intimate friends that is real communication instantaneous understanding comes when we meet on the same level at the same time it is very difficult to commune with one another easily effectively and with definitive action i'm using words which are simple which are not technical because i don't think that any technical type of expression is going to help us solve our difficult problems so i'm not going to use any technical terms either of psychology or of science i have not read any books on psychology or any religious books fortunately i would like to convey by the very simple words which we use in our daily life a deeper significance but that is very difficult if you don't know how to listen there is an art of listening to be able to really to listen one should abandon or put aside all prejudices preformulations and daily activities when you are in a receptive state of mind things can be easily understood you are listening when your real attention is given to something but unfortunately most of us listen through a screen of resistance we are screened with prejudices whether religious or spiritual psychological or scientific or with our daily worries desires and fears and with these for a screen we listen therefore we listen really to our own noise to our own sound not to what is being said it is extremely difficult to put aside our training our prejudices our inclination our resistance and reaching beyond the verbal expression to listen so that we understand instantaneously that is going to be one of our difficulties if during this discourse anything is said which is opposed to your way of thinking and belief just just listen don't resist you may be right and i may be wrong but by listening and considering together we are going to find out what is the truth truth cannot be given to you by somebody you have to discover it and to discover there must be a state of mind in which there is direct perception there is no direct perception when there's a resistance a safeguard a protection understanding comes through being aware of what is to know what exactly what is the real the actual without interpreting it without condemning or justifying it is surely the beginning of wisdom it is only when we begin to interpret to translate according to our conditioning according to our prejudice that we miss the truth after all it is like research to know what something is what it is exactly requires research you cannot translate it according to your moods similarly if we can look observe listen be aware of what is exactly then the problem is solved and that is what we are trying to do in all these discourses i am going to point out to you what is and not translate it according to my fancy nor should you translate it or interpret it according to your background or training 